is 1.23 in the morning, and I am up this late to discuss an experience that I had, but more importantly, I want to talk about a subject that I have heard about on different sites, namely Reddit. Reddit has been one, and um, I've heard this mentioned on my channel before about lucid dreaming into astral projection. It is also something that I have spoken about before as well. And I want to talk about it because I had another experience with going from lucid dreaming to what I believe was astral projection. And I've sort of been on the fence about the whole subject. If you've listened to previous videos that I've had, I always tell you before I start with the lucid dream into astral projection, well, I can't be 100% sure if this was an astral projection experience, but this is what happened. You know, this began as a dream, kind of a lucid dream, and then, you know, A, B, and C happened, and so yeah, but now I'm slowly beginning to come around to the idea that one can be having a lucid dream and can go from that lucid dream into astral projection. And in fact, it may be something that if you're having some difficulty leaving your body, if you feel like you're stuck right now, this might be something that you can do to push yourself over that threshold. It's like for me, um, the last few days during the holiday, I've, you know, I've attempted to project and I've been having some issues. I've been falling asleep as I've told you. It's so funny. I see this um, sometimes on Reddit um, when I go in. When I go to Reddit, I really like to go to people who aren't getting as much attention on Reddit and where people aren't having their um, questions answered. So I like to go to them and to try to help them because, you know, you have certain subjects on uh, that particular Reddit where a lot of people are chiming in, a lot of people are making suggestions, but I usually try to go to where I think my assistance is needed and that's usually to people who aren't getting as much attention that's what i really try to go to and one of the frequent questions i run into or one of the frequent issues that i seem to run into is this issue of people falling asleep people feel like you know i keep falling asleep you know um uh, every time it's like I'm trying to do this, but I'm falling asleep. And I try to tell them, hey, look, I fall asleep too. This does happen. But again, if this is an issue that you're having, maybe you can use it to your advantage. Once you get into a dream, you can perhaps turn it into um, a lucid dream where you're able to take control or you realize you're in a dream and then you can at that point leave your body in the dream now let me tell you what happened with me and i'll tell you about this very brief experience that i had now i was having a dream that i was back in the apartment where i first had my astral projection experience i seem to go back in dreams to this place at some point and actually in my projection experiences I seem to also go back to this apartment for whatever reason it's very very interesting maybe it's because it is where I had my first experience who knows so in this dream I'm in my bed I'm in my bedroom and I leave my body I Remember, I think I twisted out of my body. I turned out of my body. Now, at that point, did it go from being a lucid dream to being astral projection? I'm not sure. I think so. Because once I turned out, I felt like I was out. 
you know, that I was in spirit. And I felt that feeling of astral projecting rather than dreaming. At that point, I started going through um, different. It was so interesting because I almost felt like I went through a few walls. But I remember at one point I went through one wall where my mom's room was. And I went past her because I saw she was sleeping. She was sleeping in this particular room. And then I kept going through one wall after another until I broke through and out of the apartment. I went out of the apartment. And as I was flying away from the building, I turned. As I was flying, I kind of turned my head to look back. And... It didn't look like an apartment building at all. It looked like a barn. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I say some really strange things sometimes. I know. I'm just telling you what I saw. That's all. I'm just telling you what I saw. I don't know why I saw this. It looked like a barn to me. It was red, big barn. But it didn't look like the normal barn, I guess. It seemed like there were more um, dimensions to it somehow, some way. It's very difficult for me to explain. I know I saw that barn looking structure as I was flying away. And then at one point I just, I came out of it. I opened my eyes here back in the 3D world and I thought, hmm, I didn't feel as if this would be something that I would share with you because again, this was a very brief thing. But as I, as I was laying there in my bed, I thought this might be able to help you guys because if you're struggling, this may be an option. Now, all of the, the different things that I offer you um, with being able to, you know, hopefully suggestions to help you leave your body, these are all just options. I'm just putting options out there for you to consider, to think about, and maybe one of those options will work. This could be something, again, if you're struggling to leave your body, maybe you can go into a dream and leave your body from there. Now, I know people have talked about this, and I, I don't want to just kind of go, you know, go past this as if, or say this as if this is some sort of easy thing. I do believe that there is a certain skill level involved with lucid dreaming. And there are people on this channel that are much, um, they're well-versed and they know a lot more about lucid dreaming than I do. I know that I've just been able to do it since I was a little kid. I was doing it when I was very, very young. And I remember how surprised my mom said, well, excuse me, that my mom was when I told her that I was able to control my dreams. She was like, you know, really? And then I said, yeah, aren't you able to do that? Can't you control your dreams? I mean, it's your dream. And she's like, no, I can't control my dreams. I was like, oh, okay. It was like something that I thought everybody could do it. So this may also require some practice with lucid dreaming. Um, my feeling is if you can somehow go in with a reminder before you go to sleep some way, and I know that there are different techniques to do this, that you're in a dream, then at that point, you can then perhaps leave your body. Anyway, this was just something I wanted to talk, talk with you for a moment. And Hopefully, maybe, maybe it's an option. Maybe it's something that you can use. Perhaps you've already been attempting to use it. I don't know. I'd love to see um, what you think in the comments. Anyway, thank you so much for coming on another journey with me. Thank you so much for uh, spending just this moment. I know your time is so precious, and I do appreciate everyone who sits and listens to this, these videos, by the way, I just really, truly appreciate that you do this. 
I am humbled by it. And um, thank you so much. Until next time, take care.